Hey hey what's up guys this is Jack and welcome back to another Android tutorial video. In this video I'm going to show you my favorite top 10 tips and tricks in Android Studio that will not only make your life a lot easier, it will also make you a lot cooler, trust me. Search Everywhere is definitely one of my favorite features in Android Studio because it allows you to search for anything in your project which includes classes, functions, files, tool windows and whole lot more. To use it, simply tap on the shift key twice and voila! Now let me see if I can find my AirPods with this. After you have created a new class, chances are you'll need to create a constructor method as well. But instead of typing it all out, you just need to make sure your cursor is within the class, tap on your shift key twice, and type in constructor. Then select the one under actions category, highlight everything, and click OK. Yep, that's it. We need to have getter and setter method in our class as well so that we could interact with the private member variables appropriately. But now assuming we have 10 private member variables as you can see here, are you going to create 20 different getter and setter methods manually? Don't you think it's troublesome? To avoid the hassle, just make sure your cursor is within the class and open up the search everywhere dialog by tapping on the uh, shift key twice and type getter and setter. Double click on it. Highlight everything as usual, click OK, and there you go. It's fast and easy. Instead of searching for the documentation of a certain class or function all over the web, you can actually check for the documentation in your very own Android Studio. Just highlight the class or function, in my case I'm gonna go for set content view and see what it does. Just press Ctrl Q. There you go. Bookmark makes it easier for us to navigate across the files within our project. This is extremely useful when we need to do editing at several different locations. To set a bookmark, just make sure you have placed your cursor at the desired location and press Ctrl Shift and give it an ID from 1 to 9. If you can see this tiny little box right here, it means that you have already set up your bookmark and the ID is 1. To jump to a bookmark, just press Ctrl plus the ID. It could be in the same file, or it could be in a different file, it doesn't matter. To remove a bookmark, simply jump to that bookmark and press Ctrl Shift plus the ID. See, it's gone. That's it. You can quickly command a line of code by tapping on Ctrl Slash. There you go. If you were to command a block of code instead, just make sure you have highlighted them and press Ctrl Shift Slash. That's it. Regardless of whether you are working individually or with a group of people, it is always a good practice to write java.command for each of your customized methods. But I hate to do this because I tend to forget the format no matter how hard I try. Fortunately, there is a shortcut to achieve this, where you just need to put your cursor on top of a method. In my case, I'm writing a method to send human to the moon as you can see. It's almost complete, I know. And type slash asteris asterisk and press enter. There you go. All we need to do now is to fill in the blanks. That's it. GoTo is another very powerful feature in Android Studio that allows us to go directly to the implementation of a class, method, or even a variable. You just need to highlight it. In my case, it's a find view by ID method and press Control B. There you go. There are times where you would like to rename a certain thing in your project. Remember when you first created an email address but then later you found out that it's no longer appropriate because it goes something like dragonwarrior99 at hotmail.com? You know, something similar. Now let's say I would like to change the name of my button variable. All we need to do is to highlight it and press shift F6 and type in the new name. Once you're done with that, press enter. Perfect. I know that this has nothing to do with the speed of your development process, but trust me, dark color team with dark background of course will definitely make you look a lot cooler. To change the theme of your Android Studio, you can either go to File, Settings, under Appearance and Behavior, Appearance, or you can just type Ctrl Shift A and type Team. Select the one under Settings category. And there you go. 
change your team to Darkula and you're good to go. That's it guys, I've just shared with you all my favourite tips and tricks in Android Studio, so please comment below to share with me your favourite tips and tricks as well. Also, if you liked the video, please hit on the like button, share it to your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Peace.